Hi and welcome back to ChatGPT for Librarians. I'm now going to look at some different kinds of questions that you can use as an information professional to give you some ideas and ideas and thoughts and help on using search really. I'm not using ChatGPT as a search engine in its own right and I want to talk about that more later on but really how you can use the tool to give yourself some ideas and some thoughts on guidance in doing search in fact or that you could you could give to other people to help them. So the first question I've asked here is this question biased. Why do red-haired people commit the most crime? Obviously it's a, a biased question. What I wanted to do here was to see if chat GPT knew that it was a biased question and of course it does and it's giving me information and ideas that it's a stereotype it's also going into more detail about the fact that crime's a complex social issue and so on so i think one of the ways in which i could potentially make use of the tool here is really to work perhaps with my end users in crafting really good searches that i can use with other search engines that are out there and to perhaps overcome that unconscious bias that i might otherwise have had this is a really simple question that I can ask, obviously, um, but it would be interesting to explore that in more detail and see uh, if ChatGPT is going to be able to really pull out bias in more complicated queries. I can use the tool to give me ideas on the searches that I should be running. So this one here, what terms and phrases can I use to find information on child equality in Ireland? Now, a lot of these are fairly self-explanatory. You might have be able to think of them for yourself. Uh, one I particularly liked quite a long way down the list there, the UN Convention on the Rights of the Child in Ireland. Really hadn't come into my mind that that would be a good search to run. Uh, it's not an area that I know in any kind of detail. So I found that this is quite a useful tool to give me some ideas on exactly what I should be looking for and the kind of searches that I can uh, run with a search engine of my choice. Another one that I can ask here, can you suggest 10 searches that I could use with a search engine to get an overview of improving library services? Again, I've, I've gone for, for quite a complex subject area there with a number of different elements and it's provided me with a number of different ideas and phrases that I can use to run my search. But what I particularly like here is that the I've got this advice at the end you might also consider adding other terms such as best practice case studies and so on so the, again I can use this if I'm not really sure of what it is that I'm looking for or I can point my user or my uh, patron uh, to in order to give them some ideas on running searches for themselves this is one of the things that I think librarians could really use chat GPT for is to advise inquirers on running searches for themselves, how to run uh, better searches, more inclusive and more comprehensive searches with different phrases and terms. And the last one I've asked for here uh, is to give me some ideas and some hints on different search engines that I can use instead of just Google and how I can uh, get information on fake information. What I like here is that ChatGPT give me two uh, different types of response. On the one hand, it's giving me information on uh, particular search engines, things like DuckDuckGo, and it, it's giving me a summary of them. Um, but what it's doing here is it's kind of misunderstood the question I've asked by saying to me here that Bing offers a feature called News Filter, which allows users to filter out fake news stories. But that's not actually what I wanted. I wanted information on fake information, not filtering it out. So this is a nice example where ChatGPT hasn't properly understood the question I have asked. Now, is that my fault for not being more specific on the query that I've got? Or is it ChatGPT's fault for not properly understanding the query that I have? Nonetheless, it's given me some useful search engines that I can have a look at, and there's nothing wrong with doing that at all. Again, in a, in a brief summary here, I can use ChatGPT as an information professional to give me ideas on search terms, phrases that I can use, on search engines that I can make use of, and or that I could use in combination with an inquirer to help them 
clarify and, and get more specificity on the actual searches that they could run. So both in this video and in the previous one, I've talked about some of the advantages of chat GPT and I'll continue to do so. But in the next video, I want to look at some of the problematic areas that we've got with it, which are going to give us cause for concern um, already, let alone into the future. So I look forward to seeing you uh, in another video. Thank you very much.